seniors at Mountain View High School. We are in Orem, Utah, and we started this project in our English 12 class, and what it is is we have to come up with a project to help those in need, and we decided to focus on children in poverty and specifically their education. We started out thinking, you know, we'd raise some money, collect some books, $100, $200 max. We ended up with a lot more than that, <laughs> and we just we just got caught up in the excitement of um, helping these kids and, you know, what we have that they don't, and it, it was just so, we got emotionally involved in a way, so that we wanted to do more, we wanted to go above and beyond. We had what we call Penny Wars, which is we went to elementary schools, and we had, like, we stuck up posters, and we had the children bring the donations, and they had, they competed between the grades, um, kindergarten through sixth grade, and they would bring money, and we did it for two weeks between two different elementary schools, and at the end we collected, and that's where we got the money donations. Okay, we, we were collecting books, we were expecting possibly 500-ish? Uh, yeah, I was expecting like 200. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, by, by the looks of it, it looked like we had about 200, like we, had a guessing game to see how yeah. much money we earned yeah. and, then we and how much books we had. Yeah. And by the, yeah. with, after we got after like the five fifth hundred book, we're like, okay, yeah, no. Books. Also very surprised by how generous the kids were to help each other. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Seriously. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> we actually found some pretty fun books in here. The kids are lucky. When we went there, um, the day we went to go pick up, a few hours after we were supposed to pick up, people were still bringing money. Yeah. And another lady um, that this little librarian told us about is she took her tips that she gets from the restaurant and she went and cashed them into pennies and put them in <laughs> her daughter's grade level jar. Anything makes a difference. Even if it's if you say to yourself that you cannot make a difference, you can. You just have to put yourself out there and that even the smallest amount of money or this smallest amount of books will make a difference in one person's life. And even if it is just one person, that one person can go on and help other people. Just setting an example for people around you. You know, they they see your example and they're like, hmm, maybe I wanna I wanna try and go in that field or I wanna see if I can help someone and make a difference. Like a lot of people think can't make a difference well, because they say they don't have time. We have really busy schedules yeah, and we found yeah. tons of time. It's also nice to know that I made I made four new friends. You know. Yeah. When we started, like none of us knew each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We hadn't yeah. ever talked once. And then we were like even hanging out like after. Yeah. And then we were done. We were just, just like, let's go do something. We're like, okay, yeah. let's hang out, you know? Let's just never forget how important your education is. Even if we're helping you right now to get um, better in your education and to help you and um, we hope that you can stick to it and keep on going and make difference in other people's lives. And I really hope that even if it's just one of them, um, one of you will go on to make something good of your life, something better. Go Bruins! <laughs> <laughs> and in the Philippines, I kind of put together this, this group that uh, we will go and actually give scholarships for kids in the Philippines that are from families that have no opportunity to um, go to school. So, thanks. You guys are awesome. Hope you get an A.